Hi, Shane here. You're watching Sam for God. This is Mark. Check her out. So hi guys, how are you doing? Today is Wednesday the 25th of April 2018. My hair's a mess and I'm just on my way out. Well, before I go out, I just definitely need to like make something of this hair because I'm not going out like this. But um, I'm on my way out to go meet my friend Matt and then we're off to Chichester to watch a play <laughs> that I don't remember the name of. It's called Something Party, but Catherine King's in it and I'm a big fan of Catherine King's work. I've enjoyed her in many different shows throughout the years and I've not seen her in a while in any show, to be fair. So I thought I might, you know, go and check her out in the show and I normally love most Chichester productions as well. I've not been to Chichester, Chichester, Lord have mercy, hard city name, is it a city? Anyway, I haven't been to Chichester in a while, in years really, um, so it should be fun times. Matt um, booked tickets, like I think he had uh, got some cheap tickets a while ago and he asked me if I would go with him and I was like definitely. I'm off work today as well which is great because normally I work in the evening so quite a rare treat for me. So you're coming along the journey. My hair. <laughs> <laughs> I was about to say guys, I'm joined by Matt, yay, my hair is looking still pretty bad but slightly better, I've not seen Matt in ages, well, the last time we saw each other darling, you know what it was? Murder ballad, he, he was, was in it? my vlog, yeah, 2016, 100% murder ballad, that's 2016, lord have mercy, that's a long time, anyway Matt what's the name of the show that we're seeing, because I got it completely wrong, it's definitely nothing to do with the party, oh you, you know, you know it. <laughs> It's a really good cast, no, like we know it's present, a good yeah. Present after. Present after, right? Laughter. Laughter. Present laughter. Ha ha ha. It's meant to be a comedy. It's meant to be a comedy. We're on the train station still, we're getting there in the next 10 minutes I believe. It's nearly 6. Um, how have you found the journey so far? I've had a great time. We've had a nice... It is dragging a lot. <coughs> like we want to get there, but it's been good as well. It's been fun. On a walk. You want to walk? Yeah. Do you want to walk from the station to the theatre? Might be like half an hour. Yeah. Shall we? No. No, no, no. no. We want to make sure we've got enough time to eat as well. But yeah, um, looking forward to it. Matt's never been to Chichester before, so I'm looking forward to, uh, to see what he thinks of it. It's a lovely place. It's a cute little, what would you call it, town, city? Who knows? City? Let's go with that. Leave comments down below if you know if it's a city or a town. <laughs> I'm looking forward to life. We are now in Chichester, guys. We're actually in a place called the Brasserie, I think. The Brasserie at the Chichester Festival. It's actually in the Minerva Theatre. There's two theatres in Chichester, if you didn't know. I'm sure there's more, but in the Chichester vibe of it. Anyway, there might, uh, there's only basically just two. The one that we're at is the Minerva. We're at this restaurant. Matt is over here. <laughs> we have no idea. Well, it was the only restaurant available to us, really. There's not many other places around. Uh, we got a taxi. The taxi driver said there's a pub nearby, but we couldn't. We didn't. Yeah. We just want to eat quickly and make sure we get to the theatre. We've got a lovely bamboo in front of us. It's a lovely location. Anyway, it's very loud, so you probably can't even hear us. But I quite like it. I've been. It's been a long time since I was last in Chichester. I think it was like 2013 or 14 that I was last here. First time I came here was 2011 to see the lovely Diane Pilkington in a show called She Loves Me in this theatre, in the Minerva Theatre, which. Oh, I came to see her in it like three or four times and she was amazing. Um, but yeah, it's a beautiful day outside, you probably can't even see it. It's a nice little restaurant in terms of like the decor and the atmosphere. What, the so, actual place? Yeah, I agree. Like this. I reckon it's cool, I bet, I, I bet it gets quite busy there. Yeah. Obviously, because it's the one place I think that people can... I would imagine this is the one place you can eat before the show. I mean, was there, was there a restaurant in the other theatre? Just a, just a bar, yeah. So there you go, we're eating soon hopefully and I'm excited for the show now. What was it called again? Something Present. laughter. Present, Present laughter. laughter. <laughs> so we've got a selection of bread that has arrived with um <laughs> with um <laughs> what is that? Potentially butter, as we don't know. Interesting choice. I've got my apple juice of course as always. You went for a diet coke. Our food has arrived and it's only like 6.35. I, I, tell, I told our lovely server like um, that we were a bit worried about the, the theatre, our show starting and can, can we order everything at once and to be fair, bless them, they made this really quickly so thank you because Matt, doesn't that make you feel happy? It's, yeah. You've got plenty of time. You went for a lovely salmon is it, selection, right? It's nice. Looks good and you've got some cauliflowers there as well. I went for some kind of lamb situation with some potatoes and I don't know what that red thing is. Probably <laughs> won't eat it. <laughs> But it looks good anyway, so we are gonna tuck in now. So this is the show that we're watching, guys. Present laughter. <laughs> um, there was a pre-show talk as well, <laughs> um, which obviously we didn't know about, which is absolutely fine. We're just leaving the Minerva Theatre. Good name. We can go, darling. <laughs> <laughs> and in front of us we've got the Festival Theatre which is where the show's actually at, the show that we're seeing today. It's a bit windy, isn't it? Very. Very windy. Uh, 
<laughs> we've got this. Oh my god, my hair's going another place. Um, there's a. Oh yeah, there's a fucking little bus there. Um, funny enough, actually, was just saying, Matt. I saw Catherine Kingsley in a show that I can't cannot remember the name of at the Minerva Theatre as well a few years ago. Don't remember the name of the show, but it was a good show. <laughs> So I'm looking forward to seeing her in another theatre now, which is just the best world, which is a bigger theatre of the two. Both good theatres. I think I saw Guys and Dolls here a few years ago. But yeah, we're going in now. Food was great, wasn't it? Yeah, it was good. Decent food, yeah. Food. Hi there. How much are the programmes, please? £3.50. £3.50. So for two, that would be seven? Correct. Oh, thank you very much. Can I get two, please? Yes, of course. I'll give you the rest in a second. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Lovely, thank you. Thank you. We've got our programmes now, we've got our tickets as well. We're on the front row, £10 as well. Incredible, thank you so much, Matt, for booking these tickets. <laughs> we need to find door two now, which, oh, it's just over there. Um, and go to our seats. We're gonna be on the stage. We're gonna be on the stage. <laughs> Matt, this is, oh my God. I, it's been a while since I've sat front row for anything. What numbers are we? 40 and 41, I think. Right, this is the set, guys. Looks intriguing. <laughs> Look at Matt, just sat there. <laughs> Um, 40, I don't mind which you, are you? No, I'm fine. Okay. Um, <laughs> it's interesting. No, I think that's going to be fine. Lovely theatre though. I don't you know how I told you it's kind of, because uh, it's Matt's first time, I told him. It kind of reminds me of the, what, the one uh, where Warhols used to be at, New London Theatre. Do you get the vibe yeah, a little bit? Yeah, I get it. A little yeah. bit, yeah. Do you like to move up, by the way, talking about that theatre? I like to move up. Quite a fun show. Anyway, this is our interesting view. <laughs> you don't think it's the new trick? I don't think so. It's just going to be different. Why do you not? Are you not happy? No, it's like the set, and then you've got. Yeah. I think it's just different. If you, if you know, if, if it's really bad, we can see if we can move. But essentially, yeah. there are any other seats. But I'm happy with it anyway for ten pounds. I mean, good. Ten Lordy, pounds. good times. Good times. Good times indeed. And we've got the programmes. Where she is? Where, where, she, where she is? That was not good English. Where is she? There she is, the lovely Catherine Kingsley. Where's um, Lizzie as well? Lizzie Donnelly, right? Donnelly. And then we've got Rufus Hound somewhere. Oh, I saw him in um, Avenue Q many Lizzie years ago. Oh yeah, he was. I've not seen him in ages doing anything. That's exciting, Rufus Hound. Very, very strong cast. I'll obviously talk about it later after I've seen the show. But that's it for now. I guess I'll speak to you in the interval. <laughs> it is the interval. Um, how are you finding it so far, Matt? Yeah. It's alright. It's It's got some good moments, I think. Yeah, that's good. Lizzie Connolly, for me, is definitely the highlight, I yeah, would say. Yeah, definitely. She's so, very funny. She's hilarious. She's funny. Uh, I mean, the whole cast is great, though. Um, we're also very lucky that we were able to move as well, so this is our view at the moment, which is great. We're feeling very, very lucky. I mean, it would have been fine there as well, but just a bit better, isn't it? Do you it? think it would have been there? Been okay, actually. I was thinking all about it. Obviously, it's better. But I was here. trying to watch on stage, yeah, like exactly. I was thinking, yeah, I don't know. Um, it's 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 good though. It's just it's Rufus Hound is good. Yeah, he's, I've only ever seen exactly. him in, yeah, in Dirty Scoundrels. It's my second time, second show I've, I've seen him in, and he's great. He's hilarious. He's basically the main character, really, isn't he? Yeah, he is. He's like on stage pretty much for the whole thing. Um, no, Catherine's not in that much, but no, not in that much. She, but she, the bit she was in, she was great. Yeah, it's great. Loving life. I really want an ice cream, but I'm not gonna get one. <laughs> uh, the theatre's lovely, <laughs> isn't it? I'm gonna give you a little quick. Oh my god! Also, shout out to a guy called Steve, who just before the show started came up to me and said he watches my videos. He's a friend of my friend Lauren, and it's just amazing. Small world. It's a small world after all. Anyway, if you watch this, Steve, thank you for saying hi, and I hope you're enjoying it. I don't know where you are, otherwise I'd come and say hello to you. I forgot where he was sitting. He came to me, so I don't know where he is now. <laughs> Oh Lord, have that's it. <laughs> We've just stepped outside for a bit of fresh air. It's a little bit cold. Um, oh, that's where we ate earlier. Do you remember, Matt? It's very empty. It's nice and twinkly. The stars and not stars. What am I talking about? The lights on the trees. Christmas lights. Christmas lights <laughs> in uh, April. Um, yeah, the show's the show's decent. Um, I'm looking forward to yeah. it's finished. So basically, it, what you know, the gist of it is about this actor, Rufus Hound, yeah. and. The fact that he just is looking for a new job, or well, like, and all the kind of people it's who fancy it's quite, it's him, quite, and quite, it's quite a confused. It's quite a confusing story, isn't it? Yeah, I don't think there's much to it there actually when you think it. about it. It's more about the comedy. Yeah. The bit though where Lizzie Connolly she is <laughs> jumped funny. on the she sofa. Is so funny. How did she manage that? And just like fell on the floor. Yeah. Somewhere. She like <laughs> like oh that was I'm, I'm not gonna she give it away funny. but she yeah her, her 
both her like actual like voice vocal comedy and also her physical comedy I think is phenomenal. She's great at everything there, isn't she? I think I've seen her in. And you saw her in a couple of other things, yeah. Because I've only ever seen her in Dirty Water Scoundrels. Uh, Matt's seen her Dave, in. Um, what I saw Dirty Water Scoundrels, and then it was um, Miss Henderson Percent. And then that she show with really Ashley Gray and Julie. Oh yeah, what was and that? Lauren called? Samuels. I don't know. No, she was really good there. Oh, okay, guys, I'm just a little bit cold, but the lighting is really good here, isn't it's it? Good. Oh, guys, it's good. <laughs> it's like night time. It's probably like what nine, nine o'clock or something. Nine there you go. Well done. Also, we booked our Matt kindly asked um, or booked us a taxi for later, so now I'm not scared anymore about us making our train back because 10.40 we'll is the last train back to London. Yeah, yeah we'll make it because we've got our taxi booked here at 10 yeah. past 10. Show apparently finished at 5 past 10. Things should hopefully be okay. We're not going to be stuck in Chichester. <laughs> <laughs> we are back <laughs> And um, Two seconds later. Pardon? Two seconds later. Yeah, I know. It should take a while, isn't it, for me, Matt? <laughs> Um, the programs are still here, by the nice little wonder outside, <laughs> um, made some friends. Um, this is our review, and I guess I'll speak to you after the show. Um, the show's just finished. Yeah. <laughs> Act 2 was so much better than Act 1. It was. Do you know what I'm saying? I thought it was so much funnier. Not sure if it was because Kathleen Kingsley was in it more. Because she was in there a bit more, wasn't she? She was. Um, I mean, but funny. I think generally as well, it's just more controversy and a bit more funny in Act 2. Just the, all the things got a bit I thought, more. Yeah, yeah, I agree, yeah. I agree. It went a bit more mad, basically. Bit, That's what it was. Yeah. And I found it generally a bit more funny than Act 2. Did you? Yeah. Loads. And it had a really fun ending as well, which I'll talk about later. Song. But yeah, it's fun. There you go. He just, he just told you the surprise. But yeah, we're gonna have to go because our taxi's waiting probably soon. I don't even know what the time is, darling. Probably like five, five minutes. So we've got five minutes. Hopefully, that's what we're hoping for. Massive shout out to a lovely gentleman who was sat behind me. And Lord have mercy, I talked to him quite a bit because I just that's why I do. I talk to people. It was like an elderly gentleman. And at the end, he wanted to. He was like, he literally held this for me, and he was like. Basically, he wanted to put it on for me, and he was like, I'm used to doing this for my wife for like all these years. And I was like, oh, that's very kind of you, but it's okay, you don't have to do that. But basically, I just wanted to say shout out to him. I don't know his name, I don't know anything about him, but he was very lovely. We had a nice chat. Thank you to him. Thank the Lord, we've made the station with 10 minutes to spare, or maybe 11. Our train's at 10.40. Matt's very happy about that. Cause I'm he was back. I to be was fair, because he didn't get, you were meant to get a text yeah. uh, to take a taxi on the drive, and we, there was no text. He yeah. got it quite late. Blah blah blah. We found the taxi. Life is good. I just got myself a twirl. Matt helped me out with it with one of them vending machines. It's been a long time since I've used a vending machine, but I do enjoy them. They're a bit scary. But it's goodbye to Matt for now. Thank you so much for everything. I'm going to talk a little bit more about the show once I get home. But um, yeah, that's it. We're going to sleep on the way back as well, I think, because it's a long journey as well. Two and a half hours. And we need to we need to change twice. We had a straight one here, straight train to here, but back to London because it's the last train. We need to change a couple times. So we want to need we need to alarm. Anyway. Yeah. Anyway, I'll see you guys when I get home. Bye. Bye. Okay, so it's a few days later. It's actually the 29th of April today, um, 2018. I thought I'd finish the vlog um, on the night. I didn't actually get home until about 2:30 a.m. It was so. A Lord have mercy, it wasn't the best journey back from Chichester to London. Um, we thought the train, basically the train that we got back from Chichester was originally going to go somewhere different and then it ended up not going there, like he ended up stuffing halfway through. So then it was just a mess, let's not talk about that night, it was not fun. But thank you to Matt for being there with me. Um, both of us were obviously a bit annoyed, but also like the fact that we had each other made the whole journey and the whole lack of trains and transport for a while a bit better and you know we both got home safe and that's what matters anyway let's talk a bit about present laughter um noel coward uh, play um i didn't know anything about it obviously before i went to see the show uh but it's a comedy obviously written by noel coward and i was just reading up about it and apparently he was inspired to write it from a line in twelfth night uh from by shakespeare um, which is like about carpe diem, I don't know if I'm saying that right or not but you know the whole Caesar day thing and like laughter comes from everything that happens in the present, something like that. The play itself, the story, is about this guy, um, I'm guessing it's the guy here, obviously it's not the same guy because he was played by Rufus Hound, but it's an actor guy called Gary and he's in his flat, um, he's got like um, people working for him, a couple of people working for him and uh, this woman comes um, to visit him in the flat and he's asleep and then uh, this woman and like used to be a lover of his I think or something like that and then in act two or like towards the end of act one another woman comes who also used to like have a thing with this guy this actor basically women come to the, to the flat of this guy from what I could gather who 
all had a thing with him or something like that it's funny but there's not much of a plot or if there is i just didn't really get it much i was more kind of enjoying the comedy rather than the plot which is i guess what it's like really with most comedies anyway um it was a bit confusing at times but i didn't really care um i felt like act one was i don't want to say boring but it did drag a little bit i found myself looking at my watch a few times um like it started off very strongly when lizzie connelly was in it as well lizzie connelly plays a character called let me just find her name lizzie connelly's character is uh called daphne yeah so she's the first person first woman who enters and kind of tries to seduce uh gary our actor played by rufus hound and she was hilarious like lizzie connelly is just a fantastic young actress i can't wait to see her in other things in the future um, and that was good and then it kind of started to get a little bit slow and a little bit like oh I don't know what, what they're trying to do with the show and the play and the, and the story um, don't get me wrong the, the cast throughout the whole thing was great it's just um, I guess the script was a bit confusing and I didn't I wasn't sure if I was enjoying it and then act two uh, made up for it um, it was it was fun after the interval things got a bit more exciting again there was more of Catherine Kingsley in act two as well who was the main reason I wanted to see this play at the end of the day um, she was a more prominent character in act two she's hilarious she's fantastic she plays a character called Liz and she's just great <laughs> if you've never seen Catherine Kingsley in anything you are missing out she's one of the best actors of our time i would say and she's just so funny she's got an amazing voice she's a comic genius i first discovered katherine kingsley singing in the rain back in 2011 or 12 uh, when she was playing lena lamont in the west end but it's funny because she actually did it originally in chichester singing in the rain and i'd actually seen katherine kingsley before as well in a show called spelling bee at the donma warehouse back in 2010 or 11 i just wasn't really aware of her then i just kind of saw the show liked it but didn't like bother looking up the cast or anything um but the first time i kind of really noticed Catherine kingsley was when she was in sing the rain so i've seen her in so many things since obviously as you can imagine that was like 2012 six five six seven years ago um and she's been in so many things since and i've made the, the point made a point made the effort to make sure i go and see her in almost everything she's done um because i really enjoy her and she was fantastic in this so yeah if if you're looking to see uh, a funny play I would I would um, recommend the show obviously Lizzie Connolly was fantastic as well like I said Rufus Hound was great uh, he's basically on stage for the whole show he's the main character um, and he was fantastic he did a really good job um, like I said there were times where I was bored but it wasn't his fault it was just I would say the, the material maybe wasn't to my taste or I just maybe wasn't following the story as well but he was great the whole time it was very engaging um another person that i want to mention i mean it was a great cast overall uh, i think there's about 11 people in the cast but another person that i want to mention in particular is delroy atkinson uh, who played the character fred he's uh i guess the, i don't want to say the housekeeper he's like the person who brings food and stuff someone who works in the house of gary uh, and he was funny delroy atkinson i first saw years ago in avenue q he was in the closing cast of avenue q in the west end and <laughs> if you know anything about me you might know that i used to be absolutely obsessed with avenue q it's still one of my favorite shows of all time i miss it really like badly i'd like it to come back to the west end or just on tour sorry about the mess by the way behind me um so it was just good to see delroy atkinson again in a show and he was fantastic in this he's not got the biggest part but he's so funny in in the parts in the small role that he's got and i really liked him in it um i'll show you some of the pictures obviously this is rufus hound uh, who plays the actor um uh, let's see if there's any more photos yeah Catherine kingsley you would have probably seen her beforehand who is this lady here i don't know she's in the show though uh the other person this one's Catherine kingsley obviously um are there any pictures of lizzie connelly there you go lizzie connelly is the person on the telephone and then there were atkinson at the top um yeah it was it was a really it was a good show i didn't love it i'm not gonna lie i think you could probably tell from both me and matt's um reactions in the interval uh, especially like i said act one for me wasn't the strongest act two got better um i didn't love it i would never I, I would 100 percent not go to see it again i mean it's only a limited one anyway and it's in chichester so obviously i'm not gonna go but um yeah even if it was in london it's not something that i would go again um yeah i recommend it it's funny it's got a really great cast not the best play i've seen but a really good cast so if you can get a cheap ticket and you know you're a fan of any of the actors in the show go and give it a go it, it's fun it's a fun evening out uh, it's got some funny moments um overall it wasn't like amazing but it's got some good moments is my general honest opinion on the show but yeah that is the end of my little vlog review thank you so much for watching leave comments down below let me know 
if you're planning on going to see it, if you've seen any of these performers and anything before, like I said, I've seen Delroy Atkinson before, Catherine Kingsley before, Lizzie Conley before, probably a few other people in the class as well. Um, and I think they're all great, uh, fantastic performers. Um, and yeah, <laughs> thank you so much for watching, as I said, as always, and I'll see you next time. Bye! Thank you.